Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie. I'm Mike. I'm Jay. And it's Halloween Horror Month. It keeps on giving. Ah, oh yeah. It just keeps on sucking like that girl that you Ooh. said. Stop sucking. I've already. Halloween Horror Month 2021. We're continuing a series that we did like two years ago. The Halloween comic book time. series. It's been a while. Uh, the Halloween comics number God, those one. are slow bastards at the Halloween company. They are. Chaos Comics number one. We did that. I'm going to put the link down below. If you want to know what happened up to this point, we're going to continue the story tonight. That link is going to be right down below for you guys to see it. But Halloween number two, Chaos Comics, it picks up where the last comic book left off, right? It's Paul Rudd, basically. Mm -hmm. Paul Rudd's Tommy Doyle has been searching for Michael Myers. He finally finds Loomis's diaries. And then he fights Michael Myers. Michael Myers goes flying out the window on fire. Tommy Doyle walks over and goes, Ah, oh, yes, Loomis's diaries. Yeah. But first, I've got to find Michael. And then that's where dramatic. the comic kicks off from. And then you have a cut in the comic book to... Uh, I don't remember the next Richie one. Castle. Richie Castle, yes. Okay, Richie so fucking I Castle. I took me a second uh, because, you know, you have the little thought blurbs that happen. And he's like, I remember the day that I met the boogeyman or whatever. So I think that Tommy's talking in the comic book. It was actually not. It's Richie. It's the one of the bullies that pushed down Tommy. He's like, he's going to get you. He's going to get you. Or th that guy, uh, he pulls up to the Myers house. And his whole intention is he's going to burn it the fuck down. He's going to burn it down because it's going to no make his small all the boys country the wiener. And they're like, it's <laughs> yeah. better than yours. It is. It's so much better. And there, there could be boys out there in the milkshakes. <laughs> but uh, he's going to burn it down to make himself feel better. It's a projection. But... It doesn't go as planned. No. Mike, go ahead and not walk him through. That fucking Richie Castle, who again was one of the kids who knocked down um, Tommy. Tommy in, in the original film. He was a fucking dick. He's hanging out with Lonnie, hanging out with Elam, <sighs> fucking hanging out with some bad crews here. Fucking losers. One of these kids. Scabies. Richie Castle knew when Michael Myers fucking grabbed him and said, "You." Fucking son of a bitch! I might have just cut my my. No, my you didn't, but I you might be bleeding did. out of my elbow right now from that. You um, You're bleeding out of your hand. Okay, but Richie Castle knew. He said that fucking guy, he's bad news. Richie mm -hmm. Castle's life's gone to shit, as you said. He goes to the Myers house. He says, "I'm gonna burn this motherfucker down." And then I said, "You better not. Better not. You better not, R Joe John." Richie Castle says, "I'm gonna burn down the Myers house. My life sucks." I'm gonna burn down this fucking house. Burn it down, bro. <laughs> he goes to burn it down, burn a desky. He goes to burn down that fucking house, right? And all of a sudden, the comic book fades out to the outside of the house, and you just see, bam, bam, bam! And you're like, fucking, what happened? Here's what happened. Sheriff Brackett was in the house, waiting on Michael to return. Sheriff Brackett saw Richie Castle, and he, he thought he was Michael, so he shot him. So Sheriff Brackett kills Richie Castle. He kills him. And then he says, oh, I I done fucked up. I like I like how Sher Sheriff Brackett is uh, portrayed in the comic book because it was pretty much like Loomis in Halloween 2. Kind of. When he was like, when Ben Tramer, he was like, shut up! Sheriff Brackett's burying this body because he's like, I done fucked up and killed Richie. Yeah, the, the sheriff, the former sheriff of yeah. Haddonfield yeah. is taking this motherfucker to bury him. And how many fucking ties out? This, this very, and this is way, obviously, way before Halloween Kills, but there's a lot of ties to Halloween Kills in this. Number one, the way Michael looks. Where he was on fire a little mm -hmm. bit, his mask is kind of burnt well, up. He's bur when he's jumping out the window, for sure. Yeah, yeah. He, he was set on fire in the last comic book. He's kind of looking burnt up and fucking crispy. Now we're, we're tailing back to old characters, like the Lonnie's, the Elam's, stuff like that. And then Tommy comes out like Rick Astley in a fucking <laughs> Rick Bull video. And he's like, what are you, you doing? I, know rules. I really, I didn't like that scene in the comic book. You know like, the rules, he, and so do I. He follows him, and he's like, what should I do? What he call? He's like, who's there? He's like, well, I should do something. He's like, police, drop it. 
when he shines a, a, a flashlight in Brackett's eyes yeah. and Brackett's, Brackett's like, like, fuck off. You ain't no goddamn police man. Take that damn thing off. <laughs> and then what? Brackett spills all the beans. Mm -hmm. and, and Tommy goes, at some point Tommy goes, how do you know all this? And Brackett goes, I'm a fucking detective. All right, this is my fucking uh, yeah. job. It's very tough. I'm supposed to learn. Yeah. But Brackett, basically, he goes back through the original Halloween novel, which we did uh, an entire uh, breakdown of. But he goes back basically through the, the original Halloween novel with the Druids, uh, how all that shit panned out, and how the firstborn child and the Myers but family, it, but, familial line was always going to be yeah. fucked up. But it is cool that they illustrate it. And they do. And here's the coolest part about the whole thing. When Brackett's explaining this, he says something that we've never learned about the entire Halloween franchise. He says, Michael Myers was Has born. Has no wiener. Oh. <laughs> I thought he had no wiener. Michael Myers was born at 11.57 p.m. The night before Halloween. But. Declared dead. Here's the kicker. Stillborn. He was yeah. stillborn. Michael Myers came to life. On Halloween night at like 12.07 a.m. Mm. on Halloween night. Which, by the way, this is this does not tie into the fiction of the, 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 but it's the, cool of the movies. Yeah, because Michael Myers, Michael Audrey Myers was never born on Halloween. Well, you know what? But he was in this comic book. I loved it because they talk about the curse of Sam Hain. And the fact that the, the Myers family had been, at that point, peaceful up to, to the particular night that Michael Myers was born. Yeah. And, and it was like a super yeah, fucking yeah. This motherfucker was baby. super sentai without any underwear on. Like he came out of the evil with his ding dong hanging, and he was like, "I'm ready to kill." But the yeah. fact that he was dead, so it was an empty vessel because the Myers children, the boys of the Myers uh, family line, were always cursed. So Sam Hain had been waiting for a long fucking time to put his dick in that fucking soul, and he got it. Yeah. And then when, when Michael breathed the first breath. It was Sam Hain. Yeah. And I loved how... Sawan. 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 But I loved how the comic explained it, that the druidic cult had, after Michael's born, and they had these moments, you very little, uh, Brackett's talking about Michael had a very uninteresting childhood up to the point before he killed Judith, that he sang in the choir, he wasn't ex uh, like an exceptional student or anything like that. But they, but the druidic cult watched him because they knew. I love how he said that Sam Hain was gonna unleash his wrath because it had been so fucking long. You know that Sam Hain, the spirit of Sam Hain, was like waiting He's around for fifty me. years. He's like, motherfucker, I'm gonna kill your sister. What's gonna be my and time? I'm gonna kill your goddamn town. What's gonna be my time? Uh, but here's the kicker, and this is where it gets kind of. <laughs> fucked up, dude. Kick me that filter. God gets fucked up, dude. Yeah, you do, Ray uh, Pickle. Tommy says, well, I heard that Mr. Myers, Michael's dad, was a, maybe abusive. Mm -hmm. Maybe abusive. But he, he did say not sexual. He does, but he kind of, he lends into it a little bit because he says, Sheriff Brackett says, in this comic book, he says, well, there was rumors that, that Mr. Myers was physically abusive. He was like, maybe sexual. No, he didn't. Abusive. I think he said, he's like, maybe no, he said he was not sexual. Okay, well, either way. Agree to disagree. Because, I mean, he's not going to be but like what uh, he, Freddy Krueger. What he did say, though, was that Mr. Myers um, was abusive in some form or mm -hmm. fashion. And he said that, that Judith and Michael always had a very strange bond. Yeah. And he said maybe Michael was jealous. And that's why Michael did what he did. You wanted to fuck your own sister? There is a tiny little <laughs> fucking hiccup in this comic book that says that basically was maybe jealous. Judith was because of the sexual, because she was a nympho. Sexual tension. He says yeah. she was a nympho. Maybe there was this weird sexual relationship with her and her little brother. And maybe he was jealous because remember the night he kills Judith? Yeah. That dude pops up there and is like, see you later. He stabbed her a lot. Yeah. She was naked. It was right after she slept with another guy. Yeah. They hint, they hint that maybe Judith and Michael had an incestual relationship, and that's why Michael or, did what he did, which is or that he at crazy. least, he, or at least he was obsessed with her in that, yeah. in that unhealthy way. I would have been like this. Wild and crazy kids. If I were Dr. Loomis, the first thing I see, you went to the element. Here's a fun fact. You met out with your own sister. <laughs> you disgusting piece of shit. It could have happened. But, you know, I don't know. Who knows? I but, there. you know, but it is interesting uh, in the fact that they go there. They don't. Yeah, they do. But they don't go there in the way that um, like what they're tr I, I think almost what they're trying to say in the chaos uh, comic book uh, story is that Michael maybe had an unhealthy obsession, almost like Norman Bates 
with his sister. Norman Bates had an unhealthy obsession with his mother. Sense. It does make sense. Not that Judith wanted to fuck him, and not that his dad sexually assaulted him, but I feel like... But they point out that Judith was a nympho. She was a nympho, but maybe he saw that while he was younger, maybe. and it might have influenced him. But I, I, the point being is that... You decide. There was like a... Yeah, like Jonathan Frakes in Fact or Fiction. Fact or Fiction. <laughs> you decide. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I feel like... I, I feel like if you want to look into it like that, like maybe uh, Michael was a little bit nasty, and and he was like, I kind of want to touch my sister's booby. Michael Myers, you nasty. I know it's trick or treat, motherfucker, <laughs> and I gotta give her a treat, but not a trick. Either way, but I can't give her a treat because my wiener's too small. So wild, I'm gonna give her a trick. I'm gonna stab her titties. It, it, but it's here's a wild the thing. Goddamn thought, bro. It, 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 it's well, they, they explain it out there like that. But yeah, I, I also like the fact that moving on from w when Brackett's talking about the history of Michael and, and the connections. Goddamn but, Foot Clan shows up. <laughs> yeah, they do. And then Leonardo says, I can't fight him. <laughs> uh, but no, the the the, uh, the Druidic cult shows up. From age and, six. And who's fucking leading him? That goddamn old bitch Blakenship. That mother. She's still fucker. alive. Delicious cookies, terrible personality. And she's saying, do you know what Halloween is? Yeah, we get candy. Yes, well, we also dress <laughs> up. But she is the main leader at this point because um, what's his name from Halloween 6 is dead. And Loomis is dead, who was supposed to take over. So they gave it to Blankenship. This bitch is like the chief of staff. <laughs> After everybody. No, the fucking golf No, actually, she's not. She's like the senator from Utah. That after everybody else died in the White House and worked their way down, she got uh, selected to be the leader. Yeah. It's like, well, she's the last one. But it's pretty interesting to see Blankenship there because Tommy knows who she is. Brackett yeah. knows who she is. So they kidnap these two fuckers and they're like, you know what? We're going to hold you for a sacrifice, sons of bitch. And then one dude's like, nah, <laughs> I don't want another sacrifice on my record, dog. <laughs> he's like, I'm going to set y'all free. But right about the time he sets him free, Michael shows up and he's like, y'all don't Fuck with me for the last time. And Michael kills the priest, kills all these motherfuckers. Some good scenes. Some good scenes. Good scene. Kills them all. And then <laughs> it, it's basically back to square goddamn one, right? It's basically Well, there's back one to good scene, one. though, where, where uh, I think it's uh, Brackett that takes a lantern and smashes it into his face. Let me ask you what happened. Catches though. it on fire. What happened, though? Because, like, okay, so Tommy's fighting Michael, and he's like, Brackett, help! Brackett smashes the lantern on Michael. And then someone has a fire extinguisher. And then the next really thing did. you know... Did they? Yeah, yeah, there's a fire extinguisher. And then the next thing you know, Michael's covered in blue. Like, he's that, got... Was I, that... Was that... I don't know that. the fire extinguisher? What was happening? He was... He was... Uh, when you got that glow, <laughs> your body know. And then the next thing you know, all of a sudden, boom, three months later, Tommy Doyle arrested for uh, murder and arson. Yeah, well, but here's the thing, the reason why... It's because Brackett gets stabbed. 13 reasons why. Yeah, 13. I mean, this is on 14 now. But uh, Brackett gets stabbed by Michael, and oh, yeah, uh, Tommy down. understands that at this point, he's fucked if they find him with a dead sheriff. And, and unfortunately, Brackett dies, so he gets like charged with all this shit. Yeah. He gets charged with the arson, the fucking murder. Drinking, smoking, snorting. He did all of it, and he's like, I know you're still out there, and I'm going to get out of here in some way or some fashion. I'm going to hire Dog the Bounty Hunter to collect <laughs> evidence, and I'm going to get out of here, and then, and then I'm going to hunt you down. In scene. The comic book's over with. Uh, i got to be honest with you. Uh, the comic's a little corny, but I love it. I love I love comic books anyway. Not as good as the first one. No, it's not. But it's still it's still a fun comic, yeah. and I love reading about Michael in, in, a, in a comic book uh Fashion, I think yeah. it's cool as fuck, and, and definitely the story and the mythology lends itself to the comic uh, ideas. Like, I mean, they can do all sorts of stories with Michael yeah. Myers. And you know what's fun, dude? It was actually written in part by Richie, the ki the kid who played Richie, Mickey Blondes, mm. who played Richie in the original Halloween, helped write this. Well, he needs to stay in his truck and drink his beer. But I will say this about the the, about the comic book: uh, I think that if it were you know, revised a little bit if it was, you know, given over to some really skilled writers. Not that the people in the comic book weren't skilled, uh, but, you know, as far as, like, writers that can adapt it to screen, I think this would be a really good 
not even movie, but just a, an offset of a TV series on HBO. This is why we need a Halloween TV series. Pick up yeah. after H6 and let's go fucking That's it. nuts. And you know what? And that makes sense too because now you can have Halloween, uh, you know, Halloween 2018, Halloween Kills. That timeline can still go on in the theatrical sense. But yeah. now us hardcore fans that want to see the Thorn, the Cult yeah. of Thorn thing kind of develop a little bit more. That's Good. it. HBO, Netflix, man, I, they're calling you. I say they're, pick up your phone. Start an HBO or Netflix series. Start it from the origin of Michael and then take it episode by episode, six, seven seasons, all the way through the Cult yeah. of Thorn storyline and tie all that shit together and get fucking crazy with the stick, and that's Joseph Gordon-Levitt. And that's exactly what I want to see because yeah. I think that, I, like, we're us old school fans, okay? I'm talking to you, Deborah, and Johnny that are watching. Us old school fans, and Mike included, want to see that goddamn story unfold. Yeah. I want to see the Thorn story I know. unfold. I want a guest appearance by Paul Rudd, Thorn. just so he can move his eyebrows. I want to know. Shut the fuck up, Casey and JoJo. <laughs> but no, I mean, I, I really, I really think Don't that. Don't you ever say another unkind word about more standard thumbs? <laughs> I really want to. I really would like to see that explored more, and I think that the television series on HBO or, or cinema, whatever, whatever platform that they can get it on, uh, yeah. it would be amazing. Yeah, watch that shit. Watch that video down below. Subscribe so you get the next goddamn video. More Halloween comic book walkthroughs coming Halloween. up soon. How fucking ween kills coming up soon. Ooh. We'll be here for all of it. We love your fucking faces. If you're new to the channel, click that goddamn. Uh, that 2021, motherfucker. Fucking way I'm opinion. you. Wow! Ric Flair, without the rape. Whoop! Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>